Professor Kellett. It is such a, an honor for me to be here today to have the pleasure to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the authority of ERAS and learn more about the impetus behind ERAS, its, uh, its challenges, its benefits. So uh, thank you for agreeing to uh, meet with me. And uh, I would like to know, as f the knowledge I have are basically based on uh, the starting project with ERAS on colorectal patients, which was a few decades ago. But do you believe that ERAS uh, has any application to different type of surgery with more or less invasive surgeries as well? Um, the name ERAS is really about enhanced recovery after surgery. So the title tells everything. It's about every type of surgery. But most of the research uh, came from colorectal. Uh, and because it was so successful, it has spread to every other type of surgery. But in some areas, not with the same amount of scientific evidence. But the, the results are always the same. The patients do better. They are treated better. And the outcome is better with uh, less complications and earlier recovery. Perfect. And when you say uh, the outcomes are better, what's, what's better for the patient going through an ERAS protocol? Again, you have to start with, with the question, if you have a major operation uh, and you survive, uh, what is the problem? Well, the problem is you are tired, you have a convalescence period where you may not be able to work. Uh, it takes time to get back to normal activities because if you have a major operation, the body is so stressed that you lose a lot of your body organ functions. And the concept of errors is really to counteract and keep your functions normal or returning earlier than useful. And this has been shown so many times that you don't lose uh, so much muscle function, your cardiac function and exercise capacity, etc., cetera, is, is, is more restored if you have the errors concept in function. <music>